Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. First of all, welcome back Dave. Thank you very much, how are you doing? Very good, yourself? I'm absolutely excellent, how could I not be? It's only because Leeds beat Sheffield United, so we're going to branch over very quickly and move into this. So, last week we did your driver lesson. Yep. So we looked at that, we tried to gain Dave some yardage and consistency, which we managed to do. We did. Uh, we gained Dave between 30 and 40 yards, which if you haven't seen, I'll link that video above now. We obviously went through his videos, we looked at what drills we could do, we improved his sequencing slightly and his balance, and we saw that it helped him with carry and consistency. Yep. Um, one of the biggest things we looked at was obviously gaining Dave a bit of speed. We gained you around about five miles an hour. Um, but if you watch the video, you will have seen that Dave did know that he had a three wood shaft and he was fitted for that because it was the most consistent when he got fitted. Um, so what I wanted to do today, and like I said last week, we're going to look at getting him in, seeing if we can get him into a full length driver shaft. So we've got two tailor made shafts here. A grown up shaft. Yeah, really, yeah. Just a, um, so we've got two different shafts here. We've got the um, Ventus Fuji Cora which is a regular shaft, it's 60 grams, which is very similar to the 60 grams he's got in the shaft now. So weight wise, it'll be feel very similar. It is a little bit longer, so we're gonna see if he needs to adjust, and we're gonna see if we can gain some more yardage. Again, a little bit longer club, we should start to see higher club head speed, which as a result, hopefully means more distance, but we'll see if we lose any consistency. Um, then we've got one which I don't think will be good for Dave, but it'll be interesting to see the numbers. But this is a stiff shaft, 70 grams, and it's a low spin shaft. So something that Dave That'd probably... Be good. I don't think, but we'll see. Dave, normally the ball is very low. He doesn't put much spin always on the ball. So I think this one might just drop out of the air and he gets no carry. So what will be interesting, we'll compare those numbers to the numbers we got with the three wood shaft last week. It'll, it'll be good to see what difference it actually makes between two two shafts. Yeah, exactly, and for Dave here, we're going to see he might get more speed, but he might get even less distance because the lack of spin is able to put on the ball. And then as a result, although it's longer, it might get a lot shorter. We don't know, we'll see. But to start with, we're going to go with the Ventus Fujigora, so the most similar shaft. So we'll switch these over now, and we'll get straight into it. Okay, so we've got that in there now. Dave's, I've not let Dave have any practice shots, to be fair, we're straight in, so we're gonna get the numbers. The numbers will come up as he hits them. So we've got this, it's 45 inches long. Um, and as you'll see, if I compare the other two, you'll see there is a big difference. So we can see there, there's probably nearly three inches difference. So we're gonna see, is this gonna be consistent? Is it not? It's something that you go through in a full fitting process. At some point, hopefully Dave's gonna go through a proper fitting. So we're gonna get Dave to hit it now. It is gonna be feel very strange. It does. It feels like a fishing rod. Feels like a fishing rod. Good, right. First one up. Wow. <laughs> so launched a lot higher there, first one off. Yeah. Speed wise. Felt faster, but you tell me. Felt faster. Um, 89 miles an hour. Wasn't faster. Carried 197, so carried 200 and gone 221. So it's actually a little bit slower. But the contact there, as we can see from the video, was centred. So it was a centred strike, so it hit that quite well. Speed was a little bit lower, two miles an hour. Let's have a look. Slightly out to the right there. So, carry 185, gone 212, so we'd see that that's closer to the numbers we had before Dave did his step drill as, his, as part of his lesson. So let's do a couple of step drills now just to get that sequencing back in. Good. And through. Good. Who felt toey? Straight down the middle, but slightly toey. Let's have a look. So 92 miles an hour, carried 200, very toey, bottom off the toe, 
and gone 230. So let's go two more. down the middle again. Pite it. Pite it. Dave's pite it. Normally to me that means shank, but I don't think I'm a shank a driver. No, not even me. So 93 miles an hour, bang out of the middle, 200 carry, and it's gone 240. So that's closer to the numbers we got with his three wood shaft. So Dave, how's it feeling? Pretty good. I tried to, I tried to stand a bit closer to it. You know last week? Yeah. When you told me to the problem with it hitting off the toe is perhaps that I'm just a little bit too far away too so far away try to move a little closer to it then that's it and with obviously it being a longer shaft Dave can feel comfortable that he's not too close because of that little bit of extra length so one more toey toey high toe I'd say high toe yeah he did launch a little bit high that one So unfortunately, he didn't pick that one up. So Dave gets another take, retake, mulligan. So, good step drill as a practice swing, so the same routine, good. There we go, good. So fifth and final one. Straight down the middle again, Dave. Yep. Can't complain about the disturbed Persian, really. So Dave, that one's gone 210 carry, 242, which is similar to what we got last week. Yeah. Um, so obviously, although we've got it nearly two, three inches longer, I wouldn't say we've necessarily gained any distance. The speed's been the same. If we have a look at your dispersion, so we can see the dispersion there, he's got three straight down the middle and a couple slightly out to the right. So he's, he's got rid of the left one, we haven't seen one that's turned over excessively to the left. So the shaft there hasn't really gained him any distance, but I'd say the dispersion is nice and tight. So it is down the middle, but we've not really gained anything. So as from there, it would be again probably taking this out on the golf course yeah. which we'll probably do in the coming weeks and test it out there and see if we gain any confidence we'll probably do three holes or three drives on especially here at waterfront we've got two par threes one is a driver so perfect we'll do three holes with a driver with the driver shaft and probably three with a three wood shaft and see which one's the most consistent yeah. because here we're not hitting to a target we are trying to hit it down the middle but on the course is it consistent Plus, is does it, it make a difference with what I call proper balls rather than range balls. Correct, so valid point there from Dave, Does it, is it going to make a difference when he uses his normal ball that he uses every time he plays as opposed to using range balls. We are normalising the data so it will be accurate but it would be good to get a feel and a, some feedback of the ball that you do use. So, so I've only got one Dave Harrison ball left. It's only got one Dave Harrison ball and if you've seen the last couple of videos you'll see I've used that a lot as a bit of B-roll in between shots which is priceless. Right, so let's change the shaft now. We're gonna to go to the stiff shaft, which we, I don't think is gonna be right for Dave. It's gonna be, it's the same length, but I think it might be a little bit too stiff and a little bit too heavy, but it'd be good to see the numbers. So Dave, we've gone to the hazardous smoke shaft now. So a couple of swings with it. How does it feel? Heavy. Heavy. Instantly there, it is only 10 grams heavier, but as soon as he grabs that, he can feel the difference in the weight of the shaft. So. A little bit heavier. This could actually lose him speed. So it's it's just showing here how if you pick a shaft off somebody, even if it's stiffer, then that's what you want. But it's heavier. It could actually lose your distance and lose your accuracy. So going for a fitting and making sure it's right for you is massive because the weight is one of the biggest things. So Dave, take us away. Low. It's a low worm burn. It'd be great at St. George's next week when I play. Yeah, just pop on. 
So speed dropped down to 89 and carry was 250, but we saw that the ball came off very low. So let's do... 250? Uh, I mean 150. Oh, carry. Is that? <laughs> I wish. Sold. <laughs> so four more will hit and then we'll compare. That ball had a massive chunk out of it. So good straight down the middle. Let's have a look, Dave. So 90 miles an hour, carry 200, gone 232. So not bad, no. but the first one was not so great. Jimmy, just make as much noise as you want. We're not filming here. Do you want to start shouting at what next? <laughs> <laughs> Good launch, a yeah. little bit left. First right. one we've seen left. Where is this right? Top. Top. Top and slightly toey. So speed was still pretty good, 92 and a half, carried 193 and gone 230. So that's two that have gone 230, but I'd say one's down the middle, one's right rough and one's left rough so far. Another knock, well, strike wise, where did it feel? Felt middle high. Felt middle high. It's another one that's gone slightly left. Carried 195 and gone 230 again. Again, clubhead speeds up there. So consistent right next to each other, but that's consistent in the left rough, which we don't need. That's right, bro. It's a four right. That is what, that's one of my shots. That. So middle though. Club speed up, carried 205, gone 230 again. So consistent wise with distance, but direction not so much. So last one. Good strike? Yeah, bit left again. Good strike, a little bit left, so consistent. 94 miles an hour. So, good strike, a little bit left, but didn't quite get the, well, I did pick up the distance, so we're going to get Dave again. He's fatigued. too well. He's fatiguing. So, final one, didn't get the last one, so it's guaranteed Dave will bottle it here. Never, from Leeds. Bottled it last year. Year before. Oh, I've got him going about Leeds and he's crumbled. Right, let's have a look. <laughs> 93 miles an hour, so club head speed good again. It's right up middle as well. So that's five shots with both shafts there, yeah. and Dave, again, as soon as you picked that one up, you felt it was a lot heavier. Yeah, it did feel heavier. Um, um, obviously, because it is, but it's it only is, 10 yeah. grams, but you won't think that make any difference, but I suppose it's 12% difference, isn't it? So. That's it, so like Dave says there, and what a lot of people think, 10 grams doesn't sound a lot, but when you're swinging it at 90 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour, it'll feel a lot heavier when you're swinging. So it's something that's one of the biggest things that I see is, yes, you want to have the right stiffness, that is essential, but then also the correct speed, so it's not throwing you out of balance and you can be consistent with it. So over those two, we saw it was very consistent with the regular 60 gram shaft, so the Fuji Cora. Not so much with a hazardous smoke. We saw that, yes, he hit a couple down the middle, and the distance wasn't bad, but his dispersion, he hit three to the left, he hit a couple down the middle, and he also hit a couple out to the right, so he didn't always pick up every shot. So consistency-wise, it wouldn't be good. He'd have some in the rough, some in the trees, unfortunately, whereas with, again, with the Fuji Cora, if he's aiming correctly off the tee, I would say that he was going to be either just in the, just in the rough, the worst if not right or left side of the fairway which as we know with the extra distance it's going to help him on the golf course yeah but distance wise it didn't add him any it didn't add any more speed so it's a strange one you know but that's just dave might not be able to he might be at his peak peak of 94 miles an hour so what we want to do now and what we're going to do in the coming weeks is we're going to take these out on the golf course like i've just said earlier we're going to hit three shots with drivers on the course, see which one's more comfortable. Again, you will be fitted and some people will fit you for a shorter shaft because it might be more consistent. 
We did see a, a few more centered strikes from the longer shaft, which was good. Dave felt a little bit more comfortable in yeah. your posture. Yeah. I mean, last week we worked on getting him closer to the ball, but with this, with the extra length, he doesn't feel like he has to feel like he's on top of it. So, we'll comment below what else you want to see, what other shaft do you use that you are, you know, you do like. If you've got a tailor-made driver, what's the best shaft you've used in your driver? And as for now, guys, thanks for Dave for coming along. Hopefully, You're more than welcome as ever. Hopefully Lee's don't keep doing so well. Um, yeah, true. We're going to be looking at awkward lies in the next couple of weeks as well. So we're going to be looking at what lies Dave struggles with, see what process he goes through and see if we need to change that for next time we go on the course. As for now, guys, we'll see you next week. See you soon.